Hi guys, uh, today in this clip I'm going to be kind of window shopping online at Ted Baker. Um, so thanks for tuning in and to find out more about my personal style coaching services in Melbourne, head on over to my website at mayalee.co. Alright, so I'm just going to shoot this. So I'm heading over to the men's site and uh, as I go along I'm just going to share my general commentary um, and please note that this is just general commentary and it's not personalized style advice but please definitely take what works for you uh, so a lot of neutrals um, I think it's still playing to the ca kind of casual laid-back vibe from a lot of people just staying home So quite neutral again, you got your general bomber jacket. Uh, these trousers look like, um, they look quite soft so there might have might be a lot of wool in it so it's quite casual, it's not quite the refined fabric you'd find in a suit. So once again it's playing to that relaxed, homely vibe. It's got a nice light blue chino shorts. Um, so we've got another bomber jacket. And I, I think what, what else is happening, so there's neutral colours and um, kind of more relaxed, softer fabrics to allow more, you know, um, relaxation and um, just kind of a more movability. And what else is happening is that the lines um, on the designs are relaxing uh, because the bomber jacket's got this rounded collar it relaxes it it's not as rigid and structured and, and masculine so what else we got here some tees so there's some detail here around the neckline just i think it's just a, um, that detail helps frame the face um, and it just adds the t-shirt a little bit of interest instead of just being a plain flat color tee. So we're going with softer colors such as the pink, the lights, blues. Um, here's that t-shirt that was up there before in the light blue. Uh, so it looks like there's kind of multi layers around the neckline in like this sagey kind of green. So the polos at Ted Baker, they tend to add um, kind of these lined details um, and textured, um, I think it's called ribbing, um, around the sleeve and the collars a lot. Uh, and they mix it up, like there's kind of little details, little stripes and stuff, and that helps make you feel uh, a little bit more sporty, like it adds a little bit more interest. Uh, but it's it, there's there's variation in it, and it's softer. The patterns are softer. It's not like a bold line. Um, so it's it's like a a more subtle form of like a sports polo. And their fabrics tend to be a little bit more luxe. It's not designed for performance. It's designed for just uh, every everyday wear. Is what I find. That's cute. What pattern is that? It's a cotton tropical print shirt. I like the subtle sheen there. I think they're just little white palm trees. Uh, that's good. Good finishing to that short sleeve short shirt. So that's a nice versatile color. We got hibiscus flowers. And then oh, I love this textured cotton polo. So this subtle detail in the weave of the fabric to help frame the face. Um, and you can wear this buttoned up or uh, not buttoned up. What, what else is cool is the textured, textured polos. So I think a lot of their polos, they um, yeah, there's texture in the weave, which makes it um, just a bit more stimulating to look at. It's just a, a flat surface or your, your common... Uh, run on the mill uh, polo shirt so it adds interest and it makes literally makes your eyes kind of like a little bit more stimulated and that, that's what you want 
Uh, you don't want someone to just glance over you. You don't necessarily always want to wear like a flat color because there's nothing that grabs your attention and um, therefore, you know, your audience's attention. Uh, obviously, you need to be in close proximity to see this, but um, I love it. I love textured and subtle detail. And you, you might learn more about this if you work with me, um, but there's links to, you know, the patterns you choose and the textures you choose. Uh, it's linked to what you want to communicate about yourself, but also it's linked to your personality and your values, which I find absolutely fascinating. So clothes, while, you know, a surface value, you think it's just this, but no, the, the, the philosophy behind it, the science, the, the psychology is, uh, to me, like super fascinating. So I, I get a bit nerdy about this. <laughs> um, I like the colors on this. So there's, uh, I don't know if it's my screen or the actual pattern. Let me try and zoom in. Looks like there's this subtle lined pattern in it. And I think, I think it's a top. And what's interesting, if that is the case, this, the lines are not fully horizontal. They're a bit curved, which I've never seen before. And it's really clever because it's, it's a new way to present horizontal stripes and makes it that it's very subtle but it's visually stimulating it's interesting once again um, I like the colors of the flowers you may or may not like how scattered it is um, but it would it could be nice just to wear like under a, a casual jacket as well so you just have subtle flowers revealing itself so it's nice and that white textured polo. Yeah, little soft colours. Um, oh, I like that. I love the vibrancy. And it plays well with this guy's skin tone too. It's just, it's just, this orange is so happy. And yeah, the psychology of colour plays into our emotions and how we behave around people, how we treat ourselves. Uh, it's all related, all connected, and all does something for us, um, whether we know it or not. So um, this is a really great orange, and, and I find it's happy, but it's not too obnoxious, and there's just um, and it's not on the whole t-shirt, which which is great as well. So it's not super overwhelming. Um, this is a play on the Henley. Uh, so it's a Henley t-shirt, but it's a bit more refined um, from what I see. Uh, it's a bit more interesting and it doesn't look as, um, what is it, uh, like sleepwear-ish. You know? Oh, that's nice. The pattern's subtle um, and then there's little peaks of colour, which, which adds a little bit of playfulness to the t-shirt. Nice neutral sneakers. You don't have to clean it as much. <laughs> uh, oh, that's a cool jumper. I like that. So the yeah, it's yellow. It's bright. It's, it's more of a gold actually. It's bright crew neck jumper. It looks like a nice fine fabric. It look it looks uh, it doesn't look too thick. Um, but it's like happy. A bit sporty. Uh, and the grey brings that neutralness. So if you wear that under a jacket, you take it off. I think it would be a, ni a nice, pleasant surprise. Plays to our hopefulness and optimism, which is what we need these days. So I'm going to quickly scroll. All right. Uh, I think I'll leave that there for now. Uh, and if the clothes look um, interesting to you, uh, head on over to the website yourself, tedbaker.com forward slash au um, let me know if you have any comments questions what do you reckon um, about what you've seen uh, any do you have any style questions you'd like me to answer or is there any websites you'd like me to visit and add my commentary on let me know in the comments and I'll see you next time cheers